Welcome to my Ultimate Iron Man series, where I hunt down and catch implings all around Gillenor and compete with bots in Puro Puro, all with the end goal of catching thousands of implings to train my stats, achieve 99 Hunter and hunt down the rarest of items from lucky implings. This is my impling only Ultimate Iron Man. Welcome back to episode 36. Last episode we collected 1250 Temporos points, got 4 times of water and finally managed to get 91 cooking. Before we get into the episode, this video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is a very first browser built for gamers like us. And what do gamers want more of? And that's games. Opera GX has a GX corner where you can find current amazing deals on games and when and where they will be available to you. You can even browse the current top games for the month and a selection of free games as well. You can also customise your browser to your liking with the Easy Setup sidebar. There are multiple themes you can choose from. The options for Light Mode, Auto Mode and Dark Mode. I personally love this feature. You can even add your own custom wallpaper. If you thought switching browsers was difficult, then you will love Opera GX's Import Tool, which allows you to quickly import your previous browser straight to GX. This includes browsing history, bookmarks and cookies. If you are like me and use a lot of extensions, then fear not. Google Chrome extensions are compatible with Opera browsers. Simply go to Google Chrome Store, choose your extension, click Add, and it adds to your browser hassle-free. Opera GX is even available on mobile, called GX Mobile, and can even be connected to your desktop version. It's 100% free to download. The link will be in the description, or you can scan the QR code on screen. It is completely free, so why not try it out? Once again, thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. We're starting out this episode on the road to 99 construction and 1500 total. I have quite a lot of planks stacked up from Temporos and maxing out the Eclectic Implings. Hopefully we will get a couple of construction levels at least. I need to complete a couple more contracts in order to get 2000 points for the Carpenter's outfit, which will give us a nice 2.5% XP boost. And every little helps. Right then, I managed to get 2002 points, which means I can buy a full set of this carpenter outfit making sure you only press once maybe you can't even buy duplicates and that should give me a little more xp from these planks i'm going to have to remember to wear this and i should be able to store it in my poh once i'm done i think i'm going to have to sort my inventory out a little bit more maybe bag these because there is not going to be much space for me to do anything although i do have my plank sack that is a lifesaver but I do need the inventory space to put the planks in the sack. So I'm going to figure that out and get to work on these planks. Did you know that almost 75% of you are not subscribed to the channel? I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button to support my channel. It is completely free and helps my channel to grow. And this is the final contract of our planks. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get 88 construction, about another 60k to go, but we will get it eventually as I do really want 99 to save law runes. Now, it is the Tomb of Amascus release tomorrow, and if you have played this game long enough, you know that big updates don't always go to plan. I don't want to do anything I would be upset to lose during a rollback. So I'm going to do some woodcutting and fire making Fire making is my lowest level and we are working on total levels. I will be doing that until I know that it is safe from rollbacks. 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73 and 88 woodcutting. We are just short of 74 fire making so I will quickly finish that off. I decided to get 75 because it looks nicer. We are now at 1474 total, slowly getting there. 
I decided to do maple trees as I worked out I chop the logs much faster than new logs and therefore I get more fire making XP per hour. It is less FK though, but I am pretty active. I also managed to complete 8 beginner clues, which is awesome. I decided to do them as I have the law runes at the moment. I got 11 beginners and 4 easy nests. I won't open them just yet because while I'm here, I also really want to smash out 85 fletching in order to unlock magic longbows. It means I can get some passive fletching XP from the magic logs from nature implings if I keep a knife on me, which will be useful for a near future grind. So we're stuck here for a while longer. I've just come to the realisation of how slow this is going to be. It's going to take me two days or 16 efficient hours just for 84 to 85 fletching. Getting to 90 is going to be pure pain. And finally, 85 fletching. That was confirmed pure pain. I don't even want to think about 85 to 90 right now. Anyways, I did manage to complete a nice amount of clue scrolls. These maple trees really do shit out nests. I got a total of 87 nests, including 30 beginners, 9 easies, 1 medium, 2 hards and 1 elite. Let me go to my POH and we can open these up. I'm hoping for 1 or 2 uniques in there somewhere. Right, let's start with the medium clue for an inventory space. I'm not expecting anything from this one. Okay, we did get something. We got a gothic's cloak. We take that and 25 law runes. Okay, that is better than unique. Let's do the four easies now. Or nothing. Okay, nine law runes though. Take those. Ooh, is that double unique? Okay, no, only the iron full helm. We take that though and some more law runes. Loving that. Nothing and nothing. Okay. Some of those were a little underwhelming, but I am loving the law runes so much. And finally, 22 beginners. I'm expecting some junk from this, but maybe we can get a couple of uniques. Okay. We get the Justy Cape on the first one. Into nothing. Nothing. Full steel set right there. Nothing. I need to sort out my inventory. More nothing. Nothing. Or nothing. The Black Mace hurts if you've seen my other Star Miner series. Abage is okay, that could have been a unique. More nothing. Oh, I was about to say, can we get one more? And yes, we can. Some nice monk robes trimmed. More nothing. Final 10. Oh, a duplicate. That's not good. I guess we take those. Maybe one more new unique. A Zamorak ornament kit. And the final one, or nothing. Let me sort out all this junk on the floor and I will be right back with you. Well, I would call that pretty successful in my opinion. I also realised we've got a black pickaxe, which is also a unique. I will store all this stuff, but first, let's talk about my next grind, which is going to be agility. Not my most favourite skill, that's for sure. But while I tell you about my plan for that, I should start running circles over rooftops over and over again. Okay, so while doing Mahogany Homes and using the Calamitous outfit, I realised how annoying it is to not be able to store my Graceful when I need or want to wear something else. So call me insane, but I need to get four full Graceful sets. Yes, four. I can only store my Graceful and still remove it as a UAM if it is in a full set. So I need the full Purple Graceful, Yellow Graceful, Red Graceful and Blue Graceful. The blue graceful recolor is from Brimhaven Agility, so that is a little different. But if we are talking about rooftop agility for now in terms of marks of grace, I need 975. 975 marks of grace. That is pretty insane. However, hear me out. One, I do need to train agility anyways, and it is good for run energy rejuvenation. Two, the more the account progresses, I am going to want to wear other things, such as skill capes. And three, I am working on 1500 total, and it will be nice total levels. You're probably thinking, well, why not just have my graceful as, as a single colour? Well, my graceful look has kind of become iconic for the account, and people actually recognise me by it, so I'm kind of in love with it. I don't think I will be doing it all in one go right now, but as long as I get a set amount of Marks of Grace, I can buy each piece and store them in the POH. 
I just can't remove them until I have a full set, which is fine. So round and round we go. Okay, I have never done this many laps in a single day, ever. Not even when I was maxing my main account. We end day one of agility on 500 laps and 104 marks of grace. Not even a tenth of the way there. That kind of hurts to think about. Oh, and I also got two agility levels so far. I was also scouting imps on the side and caught 10 D imps, so that is really nice side bonus. Finally, we found our first lucky impling. Really want to find that rune axe. And we get a rune battle axe. Ouch, for a second I thought I got it. That is 1000 laps completed for 208 marks of grace. I am shooting for 80 agility at the moment and I'm hoping to get enough marks for a full set of graceful. We got a pure pure lucky scout. I'm surprised I managed to get here in time because I had to find a crop circle as well. And we get 15 red fire lighters. Seen that a couple of times. And that is 80 agility. That was a nice 5 agility levels we just knocked out. And we have enough marks of grace to get ourselves a full set of graceful. I don't want to waste any marks as I need so many overall. So I'm going to round this off to 275. So I also have 15 to also recolor a piece. But first, a couple more dragon implings that I have caught. I have caught over 20 during this grind, I think, which is awesome. Useless, Alcabal, On GP, Dragon Bones, always take those. More dragon arrow tips and more bones. Really stacking up nicely in my looting bag as well. Anyways, back to agility for these last two marks of grace. Right then, we have ourselves 275 marks of grace, which means that we can get every single piece of the Grateful outfit once. Being very careful that I only buy them once. There we go. And then I can also store this in my POH. So if we go there quickly, I have this 15 to recolor a piece also. I think it's the magic wardrobe that I can store it inside. Yep, so I should be able to store the entire outfit. However, I have these 15 marks of grace and I'm so I'm going to recolor my first piece, which is going to be the graceful hood. I'm going to turn the graceful hood purple. I decided I'm going to do the purple outfit first as I have the most of that piece already. I can store each of these items individually. Okay, apparently it doesn't like me doing that. So I will store it once I have recolored the hood. But I can store each of these items individually if I don't have the full set, but I won't be able to take them back out until I get the full set. Which is why I'm doing the hood first because it is the cheapest item that I don't already have that's purple. So let's go and recolor our first piece. Here's Austin. Took me a while to find him because I haven't been here since I changed it around. I think I can use this on him. 15 marks of grace, that seems reasonable. And I want it to be Arceus. There we go. And we have our purple hood. So now we have four pieces of purple, we just have to do two more. Now I can show you what happens when I try and store it as the different colours store separately. I wish Jagex let me use it on here without it being open first. Right, so I can put one of these in individually, but it tells me I won't be able to get it back. Okay, this is automatic, that's good. And I can also store the graceful hood, but again, I won't be able to get it until I have the full set. So every 15 marks of grace, I can recolor a new one. Well, actually, I have to get the hood back and then I can recolor. I'm going to have to do the blue outfit last. I have to do the all in one go. And I don't want to have any incorrect pieces on me in case it recolors the wrong pieces. Next up, let's go and open up these caskets finally and see what we get from them. Hopefully we'll get some nice crafting experience. Let's just open these up out here. We get rune chain body to start with. More alka balls. Okay, I can craft those, that's okay. We're looking for gems mostly. Those are going to be the best. More alka balls and a medium clue that we cannot do. Okay, this is a lot of alka balls. Okay, we've got a whole, a whole key that is useful and an easy clue. Okay, more gems. These are the best. Let me just out what I've got so far because the inventory is going to get full. 
Right, that's all those done. Let's carry on. Oh, first one, and we get a hard clue. I'll keep that. We can actually attempt that one. Please give me some more gems. Not so good so far. I will take the extra gold bars though. Okay, we're getting gems, but we're getting the low value gems. And we are out of space again. Might as well open these in the general source. You just have to keep selling the items. Another medium clue. Pretty sure we can't do that one. Silver bars, I will take those happily. If it's not gems, then give us some bars. Final eight. We haven't seen any good gems and that is everything. Okay, that was pretty disappointing if you ask me. We did make some GP at least, I guess. And we have three four keys and some bars and a lot of low level gems. I am going to end this episode here. We got some nice total levels this episode, up to 1481. So maybe next episode we can finally reach 1500 total. Don't forget you can now join my channel to receive shout outs at the end of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I would like to say a big thank you to those who joined my YouTube membership. Thank you to my low tier implings, Seatra Hops for becoming a high tier impling, and Davey for becoming a rare impling. I really appreciate the additional support. If you would like to join my channel, then the button can be found down below. Thank you again.